to get out the back. 1,300 contacts is in! And there it goes down! See that walk in and take oh the turn! Oh my goodness! Jensen still had it! Still going. Pops is on his after the convergence. Stuns up on some. Today, just a taste as huge rivals Team Solo Mid and Cloud9 go at it. So whenever these two teams meet, it's obviously always a hotly contested game. But while the rivalry may be intense, the respect for one another is real. TSM trying to go all in on this high, but they're exposing they themselves. Need. Meteos flying oh, look in out from turtle. the side. Wild Turtle so deep, he's practically in the end zone by himself. High takes him down, this could be it. Sneaky takes down Reginald. Three have fallen for Team Solo Mid. A fourth goes down, and Dyrus is heading for the fountain, but so is Cloud9. That was a demolishing of TSM's team. Videos also smited on that one too. So coming out of that, this is going to be a hectic fight. They are powered up. Team Solo Mid is going big. Lemon Nation able to come up. No, it was Sneaky Static Shiv. Lemon Nation on the run. Here comes Ty. He's only going to be able to zero out one person. But TSM now has the crowd behind him. He's going to hit the guys. Nexus. With their eyes on the Nexus. Their eyes on the summer split. Completely undefeated in the series. 25 and 3. Over 90% win rate. Cloud9 coming out. Undoubtedly one of the best teams we have seen in North America. So we did finish first last split, but that really doesn't mean anything coming into this next split. Everyone starts off the same place. It's definitely it more competition. It'll be hard to defend our spot. Welcome back to the opening day of the 2014 North American Spring Split. We start off our Super Week with a highly anticipated matchup. Defending champs Cloud9 versus fan favorite Team Solo Mid. DSM added Bjergsen, so they're going to be a lot stronger now. Uh, we've been scrimming Cloud9 quite a lot. They look pretty strong. I feel like we were very even. Where's the Gragas Barrel though? Whoa, it's special! May not even get that for himself. The explosive cast is still up. Bjergsen finally uses it, but it's incomplete defense. It's when he was dying. The odd one looking to go down next. He tries to put Absolute Zero in a great spot. Lemon Nation with a nice fling onto that, but actually the kill goes to Balls, and they're able to get another kill onto Dyrus, leaving only Wild Turtle to run for his life. They are just absolutely taking everything they can away from TSM. And the win, 17-9, your first game of the North American LCS in the 2014 split goes to Cloud9. Cloud9 has been legendary against Team Solo Mid. With seven straight wins, Kobe was saying this before, four during the summer split and three during the finals of the playoffs. Also, the spring split champions were TSM, and the summer split champions were Cloud9. Yep. They had that amazing 25-3 and three run, best record in the history of the LCS regular season. TSM was doing, they haven't had much time to farm when dealing with this Baron buff. Flash initiation, there it is again onto Meteos, forced to use the Zanyas, and he's not on Crow Storm. goes down instantly. A huge amount of DPS is consistently Although, being lost. If Meteos gets caught out at the edge of these fights, Cloud9 will not win this game. A pick that does not seem to be working in their favor. The crowd still very much so behind. Chance, but they're going in before because oh. they do not have the time. That's the third time Turtle's been really close. Yeah. He gets himself out with the flash. The Quicksilver as well is there to assist. They're trying to go in on this, but there's not much damage coming from Meteos. It's like the fight really wasn't engaged, but it is special. Taking down Lemon Nation, and he is again in the forefront of the fight with the rest around. of the team. Balls is the one getting hit up. They're going to take him down and hit him right in the name. Sneaky goes down next. Meteos is on the board as well. The Zanyas goes, but he goes down. I think this is the game, Rib. That was another clean fight for TSM. You An amazing Cloud game, Team Solo Mid. Going to take sole possession of first, first place over Cloud9. Give them their second loss of the season. And they're going to look to be 7-1 now in the spring split. And I really think we have a, uh, an expanding rivalry here between yeah. TSM and Cloud9, you know? It's the first time TSM has kind of fought back, and uh, there's an old saying that, like, a, a series doesn't start until both teams win a game, and now TSM has started the rivalry. They've finally been able to defend yep. Cloud9. Flash. Well, there comes to join in Lemonation. The Flash engaged. The Black Shield is on. A massive stun comes through. A special low on health. Heals himself up. Odd one chases down Sneaky. Won't so get the kill. Low. Wild Turtle goes down to Meteos. A special goes down as well. The Repel in the air. A three for zero on this engage. And Meteos and High are still unkilled in the series despite taking down four Going members down. of TSM. Cloud9 gonna end the series 3-0. They're gonna take down the next and they're the North American champions. 
We are into Game 5, Cloud9 versus Team Solo Mid. Wait. The cooldown discipline of these teams is remarkable. Still no Yasuo Wild, still no Shockwave oh, until now. The Shockwave! Balls goes in, twisted advance, throws down the Mount Guy Maelstrom, and it looks like they're gonna mitigate enough damage to tear this fight apart in the start. It's gonna be Wild Turtle now in the eyes. Four down for Team Solo Mid. Dyrus is forced to run for the brush, and Cloud9 heads for Baron. SM needs to reassess the fight. Balls gets hit up. The Glacial Fisher on the backside. They bottleneck into this fight and are going for broke. High goes in, tries to get his ultimate down. Last, last breath has already been used. Coming up with focus. Wow, Turtle! Angel. Turtle on the triple, Turtle on the quadra. Medios on the outside. A second quadra in the playoffs for Turtle. 40 minute game, 60,000 gold apiece on each side. And Medios trying his damnness to stop it. And after all the tension, TSM finds the fight. And Wild Turtle goes wild right there on that last fight. Outplaying Cloud9 and carrying TSM to the championship. That's the ace. That's the game. TSM goes to full five and takes down. American champions. Now today's finals is the latest in the growing rivalry between Team Solo Mid and Cloud9. It's one that the fans enjoy watching, and once again, it will dictate who's the top dog in the NALCS. The only teams that have won in North America, C9 and TSM. Winning the trophy has always been TSM's legacy. It's currently TSM's, and I really don't want them to keep it, you know? Coming into this, can they get around the choppers without hitting? Righteous Glory doesn't really get him there! Medio with a five-man Sejuani ultimate! If TSM can make it through this, they got it! But Cloud9 is locking them down! Bjergsen on the outside, he gets swapped in with the position reverser! How is TSM still alive in this one? They are doing everything they can, but Cloud9 closes the door on that fight! And game four between Cloud9 and Team Solo Mid. The series stands at two to one in favor of Team Solo Mid now. And they just need one more win to defend their championship title. Just in the last second, the 1v1 of Bjergsen and High. The bike goes down, but High is alive, and Bjergsen dies to the turrets. Turtle now is the focus. Depth charge into Anchor Toss. They lock him down with the passive, but he is hopping around way too much on Kalista. Turtle a double. Turtle a triple. Turtle a quadra. Could he be coming up with a penta? High stays on the fountain. The quadra kill once again to come up with Team Solo Mid's pivotal win on the North American Spring split. Team Solo Mid are the 2015 North American League of Legends Championship Series Spring Split Champions. Showing up huge throughout this best of five series against one of their biggest rivals, Cloud9. I just like to thank all of our fans all of our sponsors, all of my teammates, all the generic stuff I say every every single month and year, every time we win. That choke point though, that Ludens hit coming out as well. They're gonna wipe down Team Solo Mid here. Bjergsen very low, can only do a few things from the outside. And he might cast his last ability here. His death comes from the explosive cast and a slam of the belly coming in from Medios. A triple kill for Sneaky. Balls chasing out Dyrus and potentially an inside the park ace here as Dyrus won't be able to do much. And Cloud9 pick up the first win of the summer split over Team Solo Mid. Against the defending champs right there too. Down 100 plus CS in the mid lane. Five dragons to zero. Yet Woo. Cloud9 wins the team fights down the stretch. The Rumble Ultimates from Balls in the critical. Whoa. I didn't even need the full chain to connect. He gets the front end burst out of the LeBlanc combo. Bjergsen picks one up, and that lights the fuse for the fight that could be the final one here against Cloud9. 28 minutes into the base, onto the inhibitor. Not many minions behind them, but ones they will get are Baron up. So they may have some time at this turret. Double lift to get a sonic wave and a follow-up onto double lift. They're gonna lose the inhibitor here without even pressuring back. And that may be it. It's onto Yellow. Oh my god! Damage is absolutely huge for balls and the rest of the team. They are shredding Team Solo mid right now. Jensen goes to the back just so he can make sure he has priority targets. That's gonna be a Zanyas for Jensen. The kill going over onto Bjergsen, and now they're gonna finalize a few more. Haunts are taking his last breath. 
as Cloud9 finally defends the base. TSM is now on the back end of these fights, completely scared of Cloud9's composition, and C9 is gonna use this to their advantage. The zoning there, Double Lift didn't get to auto attack, he didn't get to stand still, he was on the edge. There in Double Lift, he's getting too close. As soon as Fence Garrett and Yellow Star went in, that was it, Cloud9 have held their breath 46 minutes, waiting for the right fights, waiting to scale, waiting for the right items, and they have found it now. They will be grabbing a share of second place, somewhere you want to be coming into the end of the split. 20 to 26, 46 minutes in, Cloud9 take down TSM. We're coming to you live from the Air Canada Centre in Toronto, Ontario. Cloud9 and TSM, who battle today for the title of the North American Champions. On Hawks to the bad spot, but also a nice fight in the bot lane. The pillar catches Biofrost, who doesn't have a way out, and oh! dies! Doesn't even pop the gray health, and now Dublin's in danger! He's gonna go down! A double kill for Sneaky! C9, 2v2 outplay in the bot lane. Gaining all the opening up. Gonna hit smoothie, slow down. There's a nice body slam. It looks for Jensen, but the explosive cast has not put him into the team. So far, so good for Cassiopeia. Flash that stays alive. Dodge the snipe, and the fight is in. Sneaky with the hurricane looking for damage. There's the flash knockup. They're gonna go for Biofrost. That will be TSM's Canadian sword going down. They find one. They're looking for two. Bjergsen's caught up. There's two for C9. Seven to two on the scoreboard right now, looking towards Baron. Actually, GSM's going for the fight right now. Teleport behind Need C9. Need to block for Sneaky. Okay, takes one shot, gets the shield. That'll probably time out without doing much more. Fence on the side. Haunter there as well. Looks for Jensen. He's got out of the back line, and it's going to be the attempt to peel. Here comes Bjergsen in as well. Fence gets get out. out. They picked off one of the carries. Now it's just up to Jensen, and he's got Bjergsen on top of him. He is trying to take him down to save this fight. A quick zone use pop, then double picks up Smoothie. It's two already for TSM. But Bjergsen running down. He will bleed out, and that's not a good thing for TSM. Haunter's neck impact is there with a killing because they kept Jensen alive. The knock up here, and it's gonna be another kill picked up, and now it's Double Lift alone, running back into his base. He gets some support back from Svensker, but it's still oh, enough so damage. They finally do take out Jensen, then overall it's a three for two, slight and lead. Wants it. It's there, the battle on top of the inhibitor. Two He's gonna lose his life That's on it. as they go, and game one goes to Cloud9. Impact on the front line. Here comes Smoothie. Going for the knockup. They might catch in. Yes, they do. Biofrost is down. Smoothie's going to trade his life as well, though. Four versus four. No supports alive. No Guardian Angel for Meteos, whereas TSM still have two. Impact the Weaver's the Wall! Front. Weaver's Wall oh. catches up a couple. Now can they have the follow-up damage? A couple of stuns come in. They've got Bjergsen, and they shut him down with a 1,600 damage print. Can they get double? Blow. Meteos, another knockup. Trades his life, but it does. Double lift. Gets the GA. Double kill you all. Kills he Everybody, they've got three, Impact goes down, and A's for TSM! Double lift turns around the fight, staying alive, so much bigger! And TSM find another fight at Baron. C9 did not want to give up that Baron, and TSM was so strong with the other Drake, they're going to take that fight all the way to the championship. They didn't give up the Baron, but they're going to give up the championship as the Nexus is surely going to fall. And here we go, the ceremonial taking of the Nexus tour. It's nothing to stand in their way as TSM cement themselves as the most dominant organization in North American League of Legends and win their fourth North American Championship. Your 2016 Summer Split Champions, TSM! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to day one of the 2017 North American League Championship Series. Last year's Summer Finals, defending champions TSM up against Cloud9. These two teams, obviously incredible. Uh, these two teams are part of the reason everyone is so hyped to get this league off the ground here. Ball time! Sonya's out of Bjergsen, still gets caught by the Shark! And that's the first shutdown, Contracts gets in. Wants a bit more, Wild Turtle running for dear life. Actually, a kill comes through, but another trade in. That's three for one so far. Cloud9 in complete control. Cloud9 are going to take the first game win of the 2017 North American LCS season. That's gonna land back on a smoothie. They're focused the support. Didn't go well last time, and they can't quite reach Jensen. The, no. the fight continues. Garden Angel blocks the redemption. He'll gonna be nice for C9. 
and it's a one kill pickup so far as Contracts has fallen. It's gonna be Hansler up next, and it looks like Spencer to lose his life as well. The tanky trundle just barely running away. Running it. Guardian Angel down, it's up to Bjergsen to try to carry the fight. It's Wild Turtle diving forward. It's the same for Firefrost, picking up absolutely oh. everybody. And it's gonna be Impact, the last one to fall. He will go down a double. And the 2-0 is all but secured. This one a little bit faster than the previous, and a little bit, just a bit more one-sided than game one here. Cloud9, this time off the backs of Contract with the insane early game on Lee Sin. 2-0 over TSM. Trying to zone them out, but Jensen wants to dive in for it. He's onto total damage. Is big TSM trying to finish everything here. Sand United might save total. The exhaust is down as well. He'll flash out of it, but they have to get out the barrel. 1,300 contracts is in! And there, and there it goes down! See that walk in and take oh the Oh my goodness! Jensen's still at it! Still going. Pops is on. He's after the conversion. That was horrible for TSM. That is 50-50. That's how I felt after that Baron throw. <laughs> and that's going to be a kill. TSM, they storm the throne room. Can they topple the kings of the NALCS? Yes, they will. And in Cloud9, their first loss of the spring. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.